A good day to Madam Rosalita. We are from Group 2. Me and my crewmates are going to present about application of statistics in marketing. And the topic is about why is print advertising less effective than digital advertising among the younger generation. I would like to introduce my group member before we begin. Myself, Leroy Leo, Tio Kayi, Mastura Nafisa Binti Shari, and Tavanesh Manisegren. Now I'll begin with the meaning of application of statistics in marketing. Statistics are applied in marketing to identify market trends and to measure and evaluate the potential and success of marketing programs. The secret to successful marketing is to identify the target market accurately and to use effective marketing communications, channels and tactics to reach it. Now we'll talk about table of content, which includes problem identification, population of study, sample and sampling unit of study, list of variables and scale of measurement, and also data collection. According to our research, problem identifying for why is print advertising less effective than digital advertising among the younger generation is to study the reason why print advertising is less effective than digital advertising among the younger generation, to investigate the reason why younger generations are exposed to digital advertising more, and lastly, to study the reason of decline in print media sales among younger generations. Next is about population of study, which involves all semester 2 students in UUM. Next is about samples and sampling unit of the study. According to the study of our research, we select a sample of 50 UUM students from semester 2. Thank you, Lira. And now we're going to talk about the list of variable and scale of measurement. The first variable is respondent demographic data, where we are going to collect respondent gentle and ethnicity. The rate of measurement is nominal, which is under qualitative variable. The second variable is the type of advertisement that respondent prefer the most, print advertisement or digital advertisement. The rate of measurement is nominal and is also under qualitative variable. The third variable is the level of satisfaction of respondent toward print advertisement. Rate of measurement is ordinal and it is under qualitative variable too. The next variable is the level of satisfaction of respondent toward digital advertising. The rate of measurement is ordinal and it is under qualitative variable. The fifth variable is how many print media does respondent buy per week. The rate of measurement is ratio and the type of variable is quantitative variable. Thank you, Kahyi. Now, I will continue with the next variables. Number six, how many hours per day do you spend with digital media? We are using ratio measurement which is under quantitative variables. Number seven, where do you usually get to know new product? Is it using print advertisement or digital advertisement? We are using nominal measurement which is under qualitative variable. Number eight, Yes or no, do you think that digital advertisement is more personalized compared to print advertisement? We are using nominal measurement which is under qualitative variables. The next variable is frequency of formation. You see a product is being promoted daily. We are using ratio measurement which is under quantitative variable. The last variable is yes or no, do you think that digital advertisement is more environmentally friendly? Then print advertisement. We are using nominal measurement which is under qualitative variable. Hello everyone, I am Taunish and I will be talking about data collection today. Firstly is primary data. Primary data refers to first hand data gathered by the researcher himself such as interviews, surveys and experiments. Secondly is secondary data. Secondary data means data collected by someone earlier such as government publications, websites, books and journal articles. Data collection method used by our group for this assignment was through primary data which is through an online questionnaire survey. The pros of using an online questionnaire survey is it is fast and convenient. Secondly, it has wider range of respondents. Lastly, it has no cost needed. However, the cons of using an online questionnaire survey is it has less reliable data and it is not suitable for complex question or open-ended question and it will be having difference in understanding and interpretation. In conclusion, statistical knowledge helps researchers to use the proper methods to collect the data, employ the correct analysis and effectively present the results. That is all from our group. Thank you for watching.